So see, uh, to see me, I'm always reading, reading, reading. Okay, your book, I've started. I haven't finished because I have. I, I your book jumped. Okay, it went to the top over some other books that came before it. But I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, I'll, I'll get through it. Uh, so I want you to please recommend five books to my audience. This is this is one. Okay, so tell us a little bit, just a, 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 a short uh, version. Tell up my audience what is again. Okay, so that it be, it, it, it will be the first one, and then give us four more. Four more. Okay. So if you want to know. What will transform leadership in Africa? You gotta read my book. Yeah, <laughs> which is called Leading Beyond Now. Yeah, uh, the five commitments that will make Africa thrive, and in it I speak about the shift that will require is um, leaders who who lead from a deep commitment to seeing certain outcomes, and I speak about the five things that they need to commit on, and yeah. these five commitments. For Africa to thrive, and not just Africa, these are applicable in in thriving of of any situation. The first commitment is to be a worthy custodian. So take 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 good care of that which you have custody over, yeah. Um, to the extent that it exceeds the expectations of those who 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 gave uh, you the custody of that. So it's worth be a worthy custodian. The second commitment is to be responsible with influence. The third commitment is um, to curate wise counsel. Yeah. The fourth commitment is to be curious. And the last commitment is to tether oneself to noble values. Good, good. So that's that's uh, that's the first recommendation. Yeah. Is my, mm -hmm. my second recommendation is a book by Isabel Wilkerson okay. titled Cast. 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 Yes, C A S T E. Okay. The origins of our um, discontent. Mm, mm. In fact, Isabel Wilkerson. Yes. Yeah. Cast. Cast. Okay. Cast. Uh huh. The lies that divide us. And basically, Isabel Wilkerson speaks about the caste system, mm. where it comes from. And um, how it's more insidious than race than racism. Mm. So I implore anyone to read this book because we often get hung up on racism being our issue. But even in places where the, our issue is not racism, our issue is the caste system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll define in her words what caste is. Yeah. Caste is insidious and therefore powerful because it is not hatred. It is not necessarily personal. It is the worn grooves of comforting routines and unthinking expectations, patterns of a social order that have been in place for so long that it looks like the natural order of things. Mm, okay. So that's my first recommendation. You can see all my books are yeah. dark ear. Wow. So you mark it as you read. That's good. Yes, it, the book belongs to me. I can do what <laughs> I like. <laughs> my second recommendation is The Tyranny of Growth. Interesting. It's uh, written by Malcolm Ray. And okay. he's a uh, South African writer. So, you know, an African writer on here. Mm -hmm. Tyranny of growth, why capitalism has triumphed in the West and failed in Africa. Interesting. I it's, would like to read that. Yes, this is an outstanding book. And, um, you know, here, if you want, if you really want to understand what has happened and why African economies are where they are and the history behind it, you know, if you if you enjoy taking a deep dive, um I, I would I would definitely read that. I, I would get it. I'll get that, that book. See, I've I've been asking people to recommend uh yes. African authors uh mm -hmm. for non-fiction books. 
Please, See, yes. yeah. So, so that, all my uh, recommendations right now for today are nonfiction. Yeah, yeah. My um, next recommendation is Anti Fragile. Okay. By Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Things that gain from disorder. Anti fragility is my favorite um, philosophy. Okay, favorite makes it sound trivial, but it's a profound found philosophy um you know and you know yeah <laughs> this anti-fragile hmm. mind mind shifting okay um, anti -fragile, things that gain from disorder so again you know yeah it's a bit of a, a bible for me the last one okay that i will recommend is called corruptible Ooh. <laughs> who who gets power and how it changes us? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And the basic, the base. This book is written by Brian Class. Mm. And the basic uh, question that that the book is 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 written on is: um, Does power corrupt, or are more corrupt people drawn to power? Interesting. Very interesting. Read. See? So, you, so you... those are. Are uh, my uh, four recommendations plus plus yours? Of course, mine is the first. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, hey, that'll be those will be my recommendations. Good. Thank, thank you, thank you for that. 